Well, hello everyone. I'm clearly disabled. Welcome to another exciting story. Today, unfortunately, I gotta be perfectly honest, Star Citizen is giving me the fits. I'm having login issues. There's going to be a full confirmed wipe for 3.18.1 and for 3.18.2. Now, thankfully, 3.18.2 is already on the PTU. We could play that whenever we want to. And 3.18.1 is going to be out very, very soon. But I have to be honest, I am time-strapped for playing, and I'd really, really like to actually make some progress, and I'm losing my mind. So we're going to take a little break and play something that is supposed to be relaxing. You know, that's what we do to play games, right? We have fun, we relax, we chill out. No, today we're going to play Frostpunk. Frostpunk is a uh, survival city builder, and quite frankly, it's got a bit of a dark side. And like a wise man once said, I don't trust a guy without a dark side. Call me old fashioned, eh? So today, last time I was playing, I was on the endless mode, day 21. That was. I should have looked before I logged in. That was some time ago. Haha. <laughs> a long time ago and one superpower that us with adhd have is uh we don't play a game for very long hey congratulations we've got a brand new game so today we're just going to play the original scenario the main story of a new home we're not gonna put it on survivor mode just yeah, actually should we put it on survivor mode <sighs> yes oh boy this is gonna be terrible some buildings such as the infirmary have better insulation and are warmer we roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old, stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We've lost our world to snow, and with it, our last traces of humanity. to plenty, and for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope pushed us forward, slowly, step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Okay, a new home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst. Now that the world as we know it has crumbled, we have to survive. Click. All right, we do remember at least a little bit of this game. Not very much, but I know I gotta start gathering very quickly. Fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. Stockpile the coal. All right, um, construction, food resources, tech, uh, streets, street, street, build street. Hang on. S? S? 
Oh no, WASD just moves the camera. Ah. Uh, there's a button for build street. I can't remember what it is. Crap! Uh, alright, so we need to... Oh, we don't have any woods. We can't even do that. Alright, so these poor idiots just have to go through the cold. So we just have to... 15 workers on the wood pile. Where's the coal? Where's the coal? Coal, 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 coal. Where's the coal? Uh, those are my coal piles. All right, there's a coal pile over there. 15 workers over there. Is that steel? Let's do 10 over there and 10 over there and 15 over there. Okay, so everyone's working, plodding through the snow, trudging through the snow. My goodness, what bleak, bleak futures they have. Look at these poor people. They look like they're on their way to Easter Sunday. All right, we've got uh, a tiny bit of coal. We gotta wait till we get about 200 coal or so. Oh yeah, one, two, three to speed up the time. Or change the time. Change the speed of time. Rah. A word of advice, workers needed. There's so much to do with not enough hands to do it. A quick way of addressing this problem is to put our children to work. I, what? Open the book of laws. Child labor, safe jobs, child shelters. Uh gonna ha <sighs> you know what let's uh let's let's keep the children safe let's uh build a child shelter but uh we're not gonna do that yet though what we need to do is emergency shift emergency shift sometimes we have to concentrate on the task at hand at the cost of everything else or oh, die after introducing this law another one cannot be passed for 18 hours game time. New ability, you can force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours. Using the emergency shift will raise discontent. Discontent will rise slightly upon signing. So we're gonna sign this. We're gonna watch our discontent go up just a little bit right there. See it go up. So this is uh, the two major resources you have to manage is discontent and hope. And then your smaller resources are coal, wood, steel steam cores which are very important for the more complex things we'll do later raw food and food rations so we've got a little bit of wood we need to build a cookhouse let's build a cookhouse the building will be done at night uh we don't have enough wood to do anything else uh we're gonna speed up the time we're gonna really speed up the time you can see it right here next to work time at the top of the screen. Time is just a flowing. And then at 1800, free time. Oh, what's this? Housing problem. No roof over our heads. Captain, people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold. We'd better do something about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I'll provide some shelter. You have two days. Or shelter to everyone so 40 people 80 people i'll do you know what small goals small goals we want to put the actual houses very very close to the generator itself so that it's easy to keep people warm hey i said go fast what's this the wisdom of the crowd captain when facing demands remember this people usually look for the quickest solution not the best one you don't have to agree with to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. I'll bear that in mind, thank you. The heating is off. The generator's off. People are afraid they'll freeze to death in their sleep if you don't at least turn it on for the night. Oh, yeah, sorry, that's a thing, isn't it? Steam level one. <sighs> okay, what's the button? All right, H is that, and M is generator hums. Oh. The thermal overlay. Oh, the little warm spots are the people. See them? And then my warm spots here. And then my super warm spot here. Eventually we'll be able to uh, turn the heat up and make it warmer. And we'll be able to increase the range once we've researched it. Which... How do we... Oh, yes, we need to cook. All right, so... One, two, three, four, five. All right, uh, emergency shift. How do we do that? How do we do that? Uh, economy. No, it's not there. Where's the emergency shift button? Oh, yeah, we come over here and we do an emergency shift. Shelter promise fulfilled. Everyone feels relieved with the roof, even a flapping one over their head. Uh -huh. Yeah, because they're intense. Right now we wait. 
2 a.m. 3 a.m. 5 a.m. Sometimes I wonder what the purpose of our struggle is. We can keep going like this for a while, I'd say. Oh, introduce new law. Ah, uh, uh, food. We can add sawdust meals to make them more filling. What? Yeah, no, let's not do that. Cook soup instead of full meals to feed more people. No. We'll add a cemetery, because I'm sure people are going to be dying. You know what? We could build a cemetery or have corpse disposal. We'll keep dead bodies out of the heat zone and cover them with snow. The cold will halt their decay. For future use. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, these things happen. Hey, we want to keep it far away. I like the little flagpoles that come up so you can attach yourself just in case. All right, 8 a.m. Actual work, normal work time is starting. Ooh, we've got houses to build. We've still got 40 people that are homeless. Uh, and we're out of wood again. The street is under construction. Yes, I see that. Oh, they're not going to finish building the street until nighttime because everybody's employed. Except for the little kids. We don't employ children. We're not a monster. You know what? Oh no, it's going to get cold in a day and a half. Oh no. Oh no. All right. Uh, food. We got a cookhouse. We need to build a hunter's hut. We need to go ahead and build a medical post. But that costs 25 wood. Come on, give me 25. Oh yeah, I forgot. Duh. Gathering post. So we connect a street to the gathering post. We take the workers out of here. We take the workers out of there and they'll immediately start building the, the streets coming along nicely over here now oh what's this more sick beds needed yes i know captain some of our people are concerned about the rising number of untreated sick we're asking you to address the problem i'll open a new medical post in the next mm, three days oh no there's 15 hungry people we'll tell them to go eat we have we have 85 food go eat oh shoot all right, so our gathering post is finished, and now that the gathering post is finished, every resource in this circle can now be gathered and not have them freeze to death. That's important, because if we look, it's actually a, a livable warm spot. And so this wood pile, this wood pile, and this steel pile. People from our convoy, with basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout frost and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I meant to send hunters out at night. Snow pit established. We can now dispose of corpses. Oh, good. That's that's unfortunate. But that's good, I suppose. Uh, open a new medical post. Oh, yeah. Do we have enough to do that? No, we need 25 wood. So, discontent will rise. Emergency shift! Sorry, everyone. Desperate times, though, you know? Uh, okay. Oh, we could pass a new law. We could pass a new law. Adaptation. Uh, organ transplants. We could use the body parts of our deceased to save lives and accelerate healing. This way, the dead can continue to meet into the survival of our city. The sick recover faster. My goodness, I remember that being a problem, so let's do that. Uh, we still need 25 wood to make a medical post. We're treating the dead just like another resource. I'm not letting anybody cut me up into parts. Well, when you're dead, it's not really up to you now, is it? <laughs> One of our people died. Death of overwork. One of our people died suddenly during an emergency shift. We don't know what happened, but it's likely it was a heart attack. Then why didn't you come tell me beforehand? In the emergency shift for today. My goodness. Just, just, just because I tell you to keep working for the next 12 hours doesn't mean you work yourself to death, you jabroni. Well, I can certainly remember when worse mornings. Better ones, too. I just pray we get by. Nothing more. Nothing less. Well, thank you, Andrew. That's, uh, that's rather heartening. Ah, uh, we need another gathering post. Cha-cha-cha. We need another gathering post. Cha-cha. And I'm gonna put it right... Year. I swear there was a button for roads. I swear there was. Right. 
Build me some roads. I like that. They, they construct things and they build roads in their free time. They're such good little workers. You guys have eaten all the food. Why, why did you do that? Why did you eat all the food? There wasn't a lot. Where are my hunters? Don't the hunters come back in the morning? Ah, uh, we'll, we'll see you next time. All right, we need to take the five people out of the cookhouse and put them over there. Because this has got to get gathered just eventually. And... Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Is there anybody here? What's... Oh, what's going on? Oh, corpse disposal. Woman in despair. A woman is sitting in a snow pit, holding her dead husband's hand, crying her heart out. Perhaps you should have agreed to give people proper burials after all. Make an exception and bury him. Okay. Discontent will rise, or I did what I had to do, and hope will rise. Or hope will fall. Ah, oh, make an exception. You go, sad grieving widow. I made an exception. Yes, one of our people died. I know. I know. Oh, now this is nine out of ten because someone died. It's not my fault. Now, if I remember correctly, only engineers can work at hospitals. One of our people died. Frickin' why? Oh, because they were gravely sick. Right. We gotta get that thing built. Four? I mean, I'm building hospitals as fast as I can. Another person died. Another person died. Oh my god. This is not okay. Where are my engineers? Goodness gracious. Heal the sick, please. Healthcare problems fulfilled. Hope rises. Oh, yay! Oh, look, there's, there's now five people being treated. And we don't have enough money to build another one. Oh, do we have enough engineers? We're doing fine, all things considered. Another day, another shift. Well, that's life. If you want to live, yeah, it is. Things are about to get really friggin' cold, too. How cold? Let's see. Oh, real cold. Real cold. Oh, my God. Oh, that's just not good. Uh, can we put it into overdrive? Uh, low risk of falling ill. Great. Oh, these people are, like, gonna freeze to death. I gotta build them a gathering post. Alright, you. Stop that. Get to building. Somebody else died. Oh, no. A citizen became gravely ill with mild frostbite. We must do something. Radical treatment. 30% of the gravely ill will be left as amputees. Okay. Hope will rise with soul discontent, because people don't like it when you cut off their bits. Uh, we need another medical post, but first we need a workshop, or we're all going to start dying. <laughs> I've got to replenish my ranks. <laughs> I'm missing a few bodies. Why did somebody else die? What is that about? Why did somebody else die? You guys are... Aren't you warm over there? <gasps> You're not. Oh... Oh dear. Alright. We're gonna take people out of those places. Why are you freezing to death? I took you all out of the cold spots. Okay. We gotta research a beacon. Because I'm so low on bodies. I need bodies. Let's heat some homes. Yeah. We'll, we'll heat some homes. No worries. Ugh. Fast forward. I just gotta get through the next, like, four days. Oh my god, I gotta get through four days. Oh, is that the hunters? Going out on their little hunting expedition? Another person died? Why? Freaking why? Alright, we're gonna have the people in our workshop. Family torn apart. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group. But she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team we'll send out. She urges you to hurry. We'll do what we can. If you notice over here, madam, these poor assholes are working around the clock. 
to build a new beacon. So perhaps you could just, you know, tame your expectations? This can't last. We have to do something before it's too late. But there's so many things. What are you referring to? All right. <laughs> Life springs from death. The dead will give us their last gift. Their bodies will be used to fertilize the soil and hot houses. Ugh. Corpses can be used as fertilizer. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. And look at that. We've got 15 dead bodies. So you're telling me, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, and more food to us. <laughs> Bury the dead. Isn't that what the scripture says? We don't follow scripture here. <laughs> Alright, sorry, I know it's cold, but get back to A word of advice, counting the bodies. It seemed unthinkable in the past, but this is a new world, and we have to adapt. The bodies of our dead can now be utilized to help us survive. So we've started keeping a tally of how many we have. You weren't keeping track before? I am. We're down to 65. Discontent is, uh, pretty high. Sure would be nice if we could get that down a bit. All right. Uh, food. Hunter's gear. We should do that next. But first we have to do Steam Hub. Because I promised everyone I'd make them warm. All right. Beacon. Where are we going to put the beacon? Over here. Get to work. Yeah, all four of you. I see you. Get to work. Beacon built. Oh, they right, right. They send up the hot air balloon. And that's the beacon so that people can find their way back. I get it. Ah, I see two places to explore. The observatory. This peculiar building must be the Arctic Observatory, the Royal Society built to investigate the eternal winter. There's smoke over it. The Lost Expedition. Numerous tents. We can see people moving about. They must be lost members of our expedition. Oh, I better send some folks over there before they freeze to death. People are hungry. Captain, some of our people are here to talk about the lack of food. They've been hungry for days now, and they fear that soon they'll begin to starve. They want you to do something. All right, I've got three days to feed everybody. 20... How are 25 people starving? Too cold. Oh, oh, crap. Ready to search. People cheer as the, f as the giant observation balloon soars above the city. This is a real feat. Everyone feels proud in the work they've done to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up, eager to go looking for our lost people in Frostland. The woman who came forward earlier is among them. We needed a win. Can something go down, please, like the discontent? No? Okay. Uh, how's that research coming along? Oh, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Because I told them to work for 24 hours straight. Ah, people are furious. Final warning. You'll have two days to lower discontent. Ah, I'm sorry? Somebody else died. Shit! I can't do anything about it, people! We need things! Oh, jeez. I'm so sorry! <laughs> Just get back to work. Oh, no! They've stopped working. Ooh, and I can't make them work harder for a day. That's all right. Three more hours and people will go back to work. <sighs> Not good. I'd be, be a better leader than our captain. Anyone but him, really. Sod it all! We're all going to die anyway with this maniac leading us. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm trying my best. I put it on hardcore, and I wish I hadn't. <sighs> Hunter's gear. Dark. Okay. Oh, okay. We promised to build some steam hubs. Right there. That's gonna be perfect. Alright, somebody get that built, please. Too cold to operate. We have 20 dead people. Alright. Uh, one, two, three, four, five workers. Oh. Go! Lost expedition. 11 hours. Okay, soon we'll have more bodies. Oh my god. This is so not good. I've got to get the discontent all the way down to that white bar in one day, eight hours. It's still chilly? All right, what happens if we do that? Ah, but we're going to use a whole lot of coal, aren't we? Right. All right, we really need that. One other person died. Okay. Steam hub takes 20 steel. Wood crates depleted. Gathering post resources depleted. Okay, good. Dismantle it. That gives me 10 workers. Gather some coal, guys. I'm sorry. I have to put you to work in the cold. I'm so sorry. 
Oh, uh, this is bad. This is so bad. This is not a good start. Perhaps I shouldn't have put it on survivor mode. 22 dead. No, 23, 24. Oh, 25. <laughs> Please go get warm in your homes. Please go get warm in your homes. <laughs> Urgent need for treatment. Our people have gathered to protest. The number of the untreated sick keeps rising, but you seem to ignore the problem. They demand you take action. I'll open a medical post right away. Don't worry. Yes, yeah, see a new medical post just for you fine people. Oh. There are 30 starving people. Uh, it's not good. Oh, everyone who was working here died. Hmm. Hmm. Oops. Oh, they're almost there. They're almost there. Oh, apparently it doesn't progress while I'm zoomed out. Oh, I need uh, engineers. All right, I'm going to take you and I'm going to take you and put you guys in there. Healthcare problems fulfilled. Hope rises. What about my discontent? Oh, that fell too, but not enough. Oh, they're waiting. Search the area. Escort the survivors to the city. They'll be here in five and a half hours. Yay! We should probably have enough homes considering how many people have died. Why did somebody else die? Houses are so warm right now. Somebody else died. Where? Where? Oh, my generator's gonna blow up. That red bar right there. Yeah, that's the, uh, the oops, I blew it up bar. Scouts! Unit number one have returned safely to the city. Scouts have arrived with 10 engineers, 22 workers, and four little children. You can disband the scouts at the beacon or send them back out into the Frostland. Welcome, everyone! It's freezing, we have no food, and uh, I hope you all are uh, good workers. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships. But shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. We will look for the others. Crash site, sturdy shelter, observatory. Yes, that's rather close, rather close, 14 hours. All right, all right. Man the hospital, search for others. I am, sheesh, get to work. I don't care how cold it is. Oh, book of laws. Uh, extra rations for the ill. Why is everyone so discontented? Oh, 18 people don't have homes. Tent. Somebody else died. Oh no. 72 people are hungry. Where are the hunters with the food? People are eating raw food. Well, don't let them do that. One person died. Another person died. I almost, I almost said yay because the number of sick people went down. But it went down because the number of dead people went up. Another death. Another death. Oh god. Another death! Oh, people are starving to death. Ah, oh, no. At least nobody will be homeless in a second. You're out of wood, I know. Oh my god. Oh, one of my doctors died. But why? It's warm! It's livable over there! Why are my doctors dying? Alright, we're gonna blow up if I don't turn off the overdrive. So, turn off the overdrive! Promise broken. Hope falls. Discontent rises. Oh no! <laughs> Hunter's gear researched. Oh, that's so good. Yay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, right. You need to do faster gathering like as fast as possible. We've lost almost 40 people. The first amputation. Ah, uh, right. I can't sign a law right now. Uh. Escort the survivors. Four children. 18 engineers. 12 workers. If you don't escort them back, there's a good chance a lot of them die. Or at least some of them die on the way, so I always like to escort them back. Although, considering the snow pit and cutthroat way I've been playing, perhaps I should just be like, Get on back by yourself. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Your time has come. Oh no, I managed the city so badly. <laughs> Good riddance, we'll be better off without him. He, sh he should be happy we didn't wring his neck. Now who'll make our city great again? 
We can start rebuilding at last. <laughs> you are deposed. A band of grim men drags you under the generator. The crowd erupts with angry shouts. Hang the bastard! Throw him into the generator! Yeah! You are summarily judged and spared the death sentence in recognition of your efforts. You are banished from the city instead. I did my best! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Well, thanks for coming along with me on that ride. I think I'll play it on uh, normal mode next time and actually try to survive because I've done it before. It's been over a year. So this is still uh, almost a, a new learning curve again, or a relearning curve, I should say. But thanks for tagging along. Hope that was fun for you. As always, I'm clearly disabled. If you liked the video, give it a like. We'll see what happens with Star Citizen 3.18.1 in point two updates. We'll play a little here and there, don't worry. We won't just be playing other games until 3.18.2 comes out. Thanks for tagging along. Let's make the world a happier place, everybody. Love ya. Bye.